I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. In the middle of the summer, my parents had left for a weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day, though I did plan on fixing that. Drowsy and awakened from his alarm, 14-year-old Miles wakes up around 8 p.m. after a nap. Realizing he still has some homework to do, he decides to get to it. Feeling hungry, he plans to eat something before getting to work, as he wouldn't be able to focus otherwise. As Miles decides it's finally time to go warm up some food, he gets out of his room and starts heading to the kitchen, then gets three texts from his mom. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. Even knowing my narration voice sounds like I'm a 35-year-old man that has been smoking three packs of cigs a day. Anyways, think I'm gonna take a little nap, probably gonna order some pizza, yes? No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge, stupid Nick. Miles stops looking at his phone. He feels the urge to go into his parents' bedroom to see if the alarm is set to the same as the one in his room. Then in the corner of his eye, Miles sees a person standing in the middle of his driveway. In the moment they make eye contact, he suddenly starts walking away. Miles thinks to himself, how strange, but easily could be chalked up to a random occurrence, but who knows? He's not affecting me, and Miles is still hungry, so let's get some food. Waiting patiently for the lasagna to warm up, Miles finally gets his food and watches some TV while enjoying his meal. As you can see, someone is lurking in your home. Not sure what he saw, Miles puts down his food and checks his mother's room to find nothing is out of place. And at this point he's thinking, maybe he's just seeing things. So he goes back downstairs to enjoy the last bits of lasagna he has left in the tray while watching his favorite show. Planning on finishing his homework after he's done eating, as he walks to his room, he gets two texts from Mason. My parents are out for the night, wanna come over? We can play Mario Kart too. I'll let you know. Okay, call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up. But you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. I'm going to yell the N-word at the crack of dawn if you don't. Well, it looks like it's just gonna be Miles and the homework tonight. As Miles heads towards his room, a few more messages are exchanged between Mason and Miles. I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow, Granny had to respect my crippin'. Don't forget Kim, though. Chill out, dude. All good. He'll probably just go back to bed after Kim and walking around the crib with my dick out for real. Big chillin' smoking on big doinks. And per usual, Miles starts working on his homework. Tired and ready to go to bed, Miles puts down the pen and starts heading to bed, then receives two texts from his mom. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Bring home another F and you won't be waking up, Lil Nick. After reading the text, Miles crashes in his bed. Awakened by being parched, Miles decides to head to the fridge for a drink of water. Right before getting back into bed, Miles gets a photo sent from his mother. Miles, who's that at the door? You there?
As Miles heads towards the door, he gets four more texts from his mom. As he lifts up the window shades, as you can see, someone is waiting outside his door. In a panic, trying to figure out what to do, Miles starts walking up the stairs and then checks his phone. Mom, where'd you get this photo from? Paula sent me, said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door, no matter what he does. So Miles does exactly that. As he creeps up the stairs, walking as quietly as he possibly can, he goes into his room and hides under his bed until the police arrive. The man that was once outside is now inside of the home. Not knowing his whereabouts, Miles decides to stay hidden under the bed until further notice. Help has arrived. Terrified, the man that's been stalking the house for the last couple hours is finally in his house, in his mother's room, waiting for him to go down the stairs. And with safety being so close, but so far away, Miles chose the only rational decision, and that is to go back in his room and hide under his bed until he officially hears police sirens. You're finally safe and away from the intruder and greeting Paula and the police at the door. We don't know the intentions of the intruder or what he was going to do to you if he got a hold of you, but what we do know is you're safe now. 